I'm Cole Gustin. My environmental projects have been, I've uh, removed purple loosestrife and I've done a Long Beach cleanup. Uh, I've, I count herring at the Jenny Grismill Pond. I help construct a new fish ladder at Hayden Pond and I go to the osprey banding viewings at Long Beach every year. So I removed the purple loosestrife as a part of my uh, Junior Eagles hockey program community service project. After I attended a uh, lecture given by Alex Hackman and we toured the preserve and he told us about the restoration process that they had gone through to bring the preserve back to its existence of more than, uh, of more than 100 years ago. My project was removing the purple loosestrife invasive species from the Eel River Preserve. And since it's an invasive species, it competes with native plants for them to grow. And it can easily take over an area just as, as it is done uh, at the preserve. Uh, the way to identify the purple loosestrife is by its square stalk and its long purple flower on top of it. And in order to remove the entire plant, you have to dig up the root ball. If you don't dig up the root ball, the plant will just grow back and you've done nothing. And then you take the, pl you take the plant and you put it into a black trash bag and you sit let it sit in the sun for a few days to kill the seeds so that the seeds don't spread and regrow the plants. When I was starting my project, I, uh, I asked Dory what I should do and she referred me to Nate Cristofori, the town's natural resources warden. And he brought me out into the preserve and he taught me how to identify the plant and how to remove it. And I filled 12 30 gallon trash bags during the project and about 15 hours of uh, work. And there's the loose strife on the left. When I was digging them up, I had already bloomed, so the flowers looked like everything else out there. But as you started to be able to identify it, you look around, you could just see that it was everywhere. It was all over the place. And that's how you uh, dig it up. You just go at it with a shovel and make sure you get the whole thing. I also picked up trash as a part of my Junior Eagles project, and I participated in the Coastal Sweep back in the fall uh, with some of my friends. And there's where I count herring at Jenny Pond. I started counting with my grandfather when I was young, and I started last year on my own. I'm doing it again this year. Uh, the herring haven't started yet, but some people have seen some of them, but they should start running good in uh, the next few weeks. I also updated the uh, fish ladder at Hayden Pond with my grandfather. We did that last winter, so that's helping the fish move farther upstream. And I went to the Osprey Banding uh, the past few years. The guy who does it, Norm, uh, he brings the, he goes up, he bans the Ospreys, and then he brings them down, and he gives you a little talk about them, and he lets you get lets you see the ospreys up close. And last year I got to climb up into the nest and that was pretty cool to see the view of the whole harbor from up there and get to see the birds up close. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you.